What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with part two of our Streamlabs tutorials. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with part two of our Streamlabs tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your alert box and how to set up your mic and desktop audio. So let's get right into this ladies and gentlemen. In the description I have left three links. I have left, uh, first and foremost, I have left the link for um, part one of this series. Uh, the other two links are how to download your Streamlabs and how to download the app for your Stream Deck if you happen to have one. All right. So for those who have been following me, um, you can go ahead and pick up here from with me from where we're going to leave off at. And for those who have not been following me, go watch part one. That's linked down below in the description. And then come back to this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up our Streamlabs by clicking our little icon right here in the, in the taskbar. Mine is already open, as you can see, and we are on the, um, as you guys can see, I am on the overlay that we installed last time, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your audio and how to install an alert box. Alert box, let me explain to you what an alert box is, okay? An alert box is something that tells you uh, when someone subscribes to you, when someone gives you a donation, when someone becomes a member on your channel, uh, when someone follows you on Twitch. Uh, when someone gives you bits on Twitch, I will show you everything that it actually notifies you of once we get to that part. Now, the first thing that we're going to do before we install our alert box, I'm going to show you how to set up your audio, okay? Now, if you notice over here, guys, to my right, I have mic forward slash auxiliary right here, okay? Now, if you notice, I am actually recording through my NVIDIA right now. That's how you're hearing me, all right? Um, but there is nothing coming through the mic and auxiliary part. Now, if we make sure it's unmuted, if you have a line through right here, then that means it is muted. So go ahead and unmute it and unmute your desktop audio, okay? On your mic auxiliary, you want to go over here to the left side of your screen and click on that little settings bracket right there to the settings, okay? Then you want to go in here, and I'm going to point out a couple other important things in here as well. Go down to audio. And this is going to be where you set up your mic audio right here, guys, okay? So on your desktop audio device one, you want to make sure that is set to default, okay? Make sure it's set to default and not disabled, all right? Um, now, a lot of times, if this desktop audio doesn't work, you will have to install uh, what we call an audio input capture, and I'll go over that in a minute, okay? Uh, but, with, but aside from that, guys, just make sure this is set to default, okay? A lot of times, that default desktop audio one will work. Um, now, as far as setting up our mic, if you guys will notice, there is no reading coming through my mic down here, okay? But if we go down in here to Mic Auxiliary Device 1 and select that, it's going to pull up everything that it has available to talk through, okay? I'm going to be selecting the Yeti. Now, once I select that, you're going to see my voice start coming through right over here, all right? Once we get that, we're going to go back up to... Um, we're going to go to output right here. It's very important that you guys see this because a lot of you, uh, I get a lot of people asking me on a daily basis, do you know how to fix the lag in my stream? This is where a lot of that comes in. Your video bytes rate should always be set to about 2,500, okay? Make sure it's set to that. Your output mode, you want it on simple, okay? Now, your hardware encoder, it's very important that your hardware encoder is set to hardware NVENC, okay? NVENC. Um, I wouldn't set it to the new one. I haven't tried the new one yet, so I'm not going to tell you set it to the new one because you have hardware NVENC and then hardware NVENC new, okay? I'm just going to set it to the default. This is your encoder from your graphics card and your YouTube, okay? I believe that's what that is for. And down here in recording, uh, you want to set everything the same, so your recording format, whatever you want that at. Uh, you can do MP4, movie file, MKV, um, FLV, whatever you want. I leave mine at MP4. Because that's how mine, it just, it works for me like that, okay? Uh, same thing with the encoder for your recording. You want it set to the hardware NVENC, okay? Once we have got that done, do not mess with this down here, okay? Don't mess with none of that. Once we've got that done, let me see if there's anything else I need to go over. Right here, guys, in your video tab, okay? You want to make sure that your base canvas resolution as well as your output scale resolution is always set to 1920 by 1080 p now, let me explain to you what your base canvas resolution is for, okay? That 
is what you see, okay? Your 1920 by 1080p is what you see on your screen, okay? The output is what your audience sees. So if you set this to say 1280 by 720, then you're gonna be seeing the 1920 by 1080p resolution, but your audience is only getting the 720p of that, okay? So you wanna make sure that your audience is getting the same resolution as you, um, as you want them to have a good experience just like you do, okay? Uh, with that being said, everything else here is good. We went over hotkeys. Um, uh, don't mess with none of this right here, guys. I wouldn't mess with none of that. Uh, everything else uh, set to default the way it is is uh, pretty good to go. With that being said, once you get done, um, just go ahead and click done right here, okay? And it will, will save it. Now, if you notice now, my mic is now coming through. Uh, my microphone auxiliary right here, and this is microphone Yeti stereo microphone, okay, because that is the microphone I am using. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to install an alert box. Again, your alert box is for, um, it notifies you of super chats, of when someone subscribes to your channel, when someone follows you on Twitch or Facebook, when someone sends you bits, bits, uh, bits through Twitch, okay, if I can spit it out. Uh, it notifies you of everything that goes on on your channel. If you have merch, someone buys merch, it will notify you of that as well, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to install an alert box. You want to go up here to the side column right here where my mouse is, okay? And you want to go right, um, right here where it says alert box library, okay? And click on that, all right? Now, for those of you that you may not have Prime uh, Streamlabs like I do, which allows you to stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, um, we're going to go right here in this alert box library search tab and we're just going to type in, we're going to type in free and hit enter. Okay. And this is going to pull up all your free alert boxes. Now, if you hover over these, okay, it will show you what they do. All right. So once you hover over them, see that right there, that shows you what it is. I don't know why this one's not showing unless it just doesn't do anything, but I like to get something that's kind of like animated. I always go for the animated look or something that's matching the overlay. So remember, we do have kind of a retro look overlay with all them pretty colors in it, okay? So we're gonna look for something like that. If we can't find it, not a big deal. Um, but what we're gonna do, um, and what you can do is once you type in free to match the color of your overlay, I'm gonna go ahead and click the red button right there, okay? And it's gonna pull up everything they have for free in the color of red, okay? Um, so we are going to install uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to install um, this one right here, the one that says First Blood, okay? Uh, go ahead and click Install Widget Theme, all right? And it is, going, it is now installed your alert box. Now, right here, guys, where the square is, is your alert box. It is unlocked, so you can move it around freely just like that. You can make it bigger. I like my alert boxes to be big. Um, just because when the audience uh, subscribes or donates or buys merch, whatever it is, I want them to be able to see their name on that screen, okay? Because the audience obviously loves that, all right? So I'm going to pull my alert box out to right here. Now, to test your widget, okay, you're going to go down here to the bottom, right here beside the record where my, little, where my cursor is, and you're going to click Test Widget, okay? And these are going to pop out. Now, we're going to hit Subscriber, all right? And there it is. There is your alert box. Now, you can move this around however you want. Make it however big you want. Uh, in my opinion, that's kind of a cheesy one. <laughs> I don't really like that. That's just my opinion. We're going to move it over to about right there and see. And you can test it again. So you can test it each time you need to um, to find out where it is exactly that you want it. Now, if you want it smaller, of course, you can shrink it up. We can shrink it up like that. And we can put it over here. But like I said, guys, I like my alert boxes to be nice and big where the, where the subscribers or whoever it is um, followers can see their name when they hit it, okay? So I'm going to go over and hit donation. And you are going to have the default sound when you put in the alert box, okay? That's just by default. All right, now once we got it done, we are going to go up here to alert box in our sources and click lock. Now we are going to double click on alert box right here in our sources, okay? Double click that and we are going to enlarge this window. Now if you will look down here on the left column, guys, you will see everything that your alert box support supports, okay? So like bits on Twitch, donations, merch, subscriptions, follows, um, host, raids, super chats, subscribers. It's right there, guys. Everything that your alert box supports is right here, okay? I'm not too sure about what the cloud, the cloud bot store is. Um, so let's go to subscribers, okay? We're going to go to subscribers and click on that. It's going to show you here. Um, and then we're going to go over here to the side and click on media. 
All right. Now, if you will look right here, it's going to show you your media right here. Okay. It's going to show you the picture that pops up when someone subscribes to you. Okay. Now you can turn it on or off by clicking this right here on the left side. You can turn it on or off. We're going to leave it on right now for this one. Okay. Now, if we, if we scroll down right here, this is going to be the volume of your alert boxes can turn your, the volume of your alert box up and down. All right. I think it's fine where it is. Um, if you want to turn it up a little bit, you can always just turn it up just like this. Um, now, as far as changing your media, okay, we're going to click change media. Now, it's I don't have anything in here that's going to allow me to put anything in its place, okay? So I'm going to go to all files. Uh, actually, stock files. Stock files. Got to go to all files and stock files. And this right here, guys, is going to be your sounds. This right here is going to be your images. You can double click these images and put in there. So just for example, if I want the Mario, I'm going to double click the Mario. And it is now going to put the Mario into my alert box, okay? Let me click that, see if it actually worked. Okay, so that it's, you actually, sometimes guys, when you once you put in the picture, you will have to click done and maybe exit out and come back in before it'll work, okay? But as you guys can see, our Mario is in, okay? Now, we're going to open this up again. And then down here where it says default, this is your sound file. So that's what you hear when you click that. And you hear that sound, that's what you're hearing, okay? So you can go here to change media. And we're going to go down to stock files because I don't have anything to put in. Um, I will link Jeffrey's tutorial down uh, in the description, guys, as he has a little bit more uh, in-depth perspective on how to change your sounds um, with your Streamlabs. Because I can't remember what kind of file you have to actually um, convert it to. Um, but I think it's an OGG file. If I'm not mistaken, it has to be converted to an OGG file. So, um, with that being said, we're going to go down here. These are your different sounds, okay? Now, if you click on it, you will start hearing the sound, all right? This is what you're going to hear in your alert box, okay? So, we're going to go down to... We're just going to do something simple. We're going to click that one, okay, guys? So, double click it, all right? And then, now when it plays... It's still going to do that for now, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to click done. All right. Now, if it doesn't work here, we will exit out and we will come back in. Okay. So this is going to be for subscriber only. So click subscribe. There's the Mario, right? But it did not change the sound. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to exit out of Streamlabs. All right. We're going to exit out and then we are going to open it back up. Sometimes, for some reason, you have to do this. I don't know why, um, but you have to. Uh, now, we are back in our live scene here. All right, we're going to go to Test Widget and click Subscriber. There it is, guys. See, it's working now. All right, so now you guys can hear that. See how it makes the change. But it's pretty cool how that works. Um, and the same thing with Super Chat, guys. You go back in your alert box and memberships and all that. We're going to pull this up real big again. If you go down to, let's say, members, okay, you want to change your member sound, do the same exact thing, guys. Go to members, go to media, and here's where you change everything right here, okay? That's how you change it right there. It's the same thing. Just make sure when you're done, guys, make your changes. You click done, and then you exit out of your Streamlabs and come back in. Um, I think, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Uh, part three of this series will be... Uh, on how to set up your stream deck. So if you have a stream deck, part three will be coming up, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me go back to the scene right here. As I would greatly appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with that being said, I love you guys so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.